another tutorial by PST World. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a triangle pixelation effect. So let's get started. Open an image by pressing Ctrl and Command O on the keyboard. Here I have an image of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Let's duplicate this image twice by going to layer, duplicate here and press OK. You can use Ctrl or Command G on the keyboard instead. Now go to Edit, Free Transform. Set the horizontal skew value to 45 degrees and check OK. Now go to Filter, Pixelate, Mosaic. Set the cell size value to 100 square and press OK. Go to Edit, Free Transform and this time set the horizontal skew to minus 45 degrees and check OK. You will see a pixelation effect. Lower the opacity of this layer to 50%. Now select the middle layer. Again we will do the same thing. Go to Edit, Free Transform. Set the horizontal skew this time to minus 45. Earlier we had used 45 and check OK. I'm going to filter pixelate mosaic and use the same value which you had used earlier, 300 squares. I'm going to edit free transform and this time set the horizontal skew to 45 degrees and check OK. We are not done yet. When you zoom in, you can see that the patterns are not aligned properly. Use your left or right arrow key to align the layers properly. Now to use this as a background, you might want to add a faded or vintage effect to it. To add the vintage effect, create a new layer. Fill this new layer with F7941D using the Paint Bucket tool and change the blending mode of this layer to pin light. Reduce its opacity to 20% or say 15%. Let's add one more layer. Fill this layer with 0072BC. Press Alt to Backspace to fill this layer. Again do the same thing. Change its blending mode to be light. And reduce its opacity to 15%. And some text and we are done. Finally this is how it looks. So what do you think? Give it a try and tell me. Post your comments in the comments box below. Thanks for watching. Please like this video below. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter. Support my work on Patreon.com. For more videos visit my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated with my future content. Take care.